teachers in Florida could soon be allowed to carry guns, the Senate there passed a school safety bill this week that would allow teachers to be armed if individual school boards sign off on it. It's a controversial measure, and it is, of course, in response to the February 2018 shooting at Marjorie Stoneham Douglas High School that left 17 people dead. In moments, Andrew Pollack joins me, who lost his daughter Meadow on that day. We have his reaction, but first let's go to Trace Gallagher, who has the latest on this story tonight. Hi, Trace. Hi, Martha. It looks like this will happen because lawmakers in the Florida House are very supportive, and Governor Ron DeSantis has indicated that he will sign it. But even then, as you noted, the local school boards would still have to agree before any teachers would be allowed to voluntarily carry a weapon. Now, this has really been a partisan battle in Florida. You had students travel to Tallahassee trying to convince lawmakers not to pass the bill. Democrats in the state house also tried repeatedly to remove language from the bill allowing teachers to carry. Even some national Democrats weighed in, like California Senator and 2020 Democratic presidential candidate Kamala Harris, who tweeted, quote, teachers don't need a gun, they need a raise. We have to give them the resources they need to educate the next generation of leaders. But even some Democrats who voted against the bill, like State Senator Laura Book, say it was a tough decision because she knows that if Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School wrestling coach Chris Hickson had had a gun, he would have stopped Nicholas Cruz from killing 17 people. Supporters of the bill point out that Parkland shooting, that it lasted for four minutes, and in that time, they believe an armed teacher would have saved lives. GOP State Senator Ed Hooper said, quoting here, I must err on the side of saving a kid. And remember, days after the Parkland shooting, President Trump weighed in. Watch. Gun-free zone to a maniac because they're all cowards. A gun-free zone is let's go in and let's attack because bullets aren't coming back at us. The bill also includes greater reporting of school safety incidents, a risk assessment process for dangerous students, and some new school guidelines for dealing with mental health issues. Teachers who choose to carry a gun would have to pass a psychological evaluation and complete at least 144 hours of training. Martha. That's a lot of training. Trace, thank you very much. My next guest, you know here, he's been with us many times on this story. He lost his daughter, Meadow, in the Marjorie Stoneham Douglas High School shooting. Andrew Pollack joins me. Uh, Andrew, thank you so much for being here tonight. And you are, I should mention, the founder of Americans for Children's Lives and School Safety. Good to see you, Andrew. Oh, nice to be here tonight, Mar Martha. So tell me, you know, what the Marjorie Stoneham Douglas Commission found in the study that they did and why they were supportive of this, this law in Florida. First, we're, we're very fortunate in Florida to have a Republican-controlled Senate because they were able to look at the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas Commission findings and put our kids' safety first, not, like, not put an agenda. So they were able to look at it. You know, I, my friends were on that commission, and they were able to watch the videotape of the killer going through the building, where they watched him reload five times uh, inside the building, where no one came to the rescue of, of those children, in, including my daughter. So if one of those people in that building were able to be trained or armed, they would have been able to stop the shooter multiple times. So my, uh, so thank God we have Republicans that put our kids' safety first not these Democrats uh, that are trying to push an agenda of gun control and not putting our kids first. Well, one of those Democrats is Kamala Harris, and you just heard what she said in, in the tweet that she wrote. Uh, yep. She said, teachers don't need guns, they need a raise. What would you say to her, Andy? I'd like to tell Kamala that she didn't have a daughter on that third floor praying for her life, and no one came to save her when there was multiple teachers on that floor that could have saved her and my daughter was shot nine times okay so how about that Kamala put your kid on that on that third floor and you tell me you wouldn't want someone there to save her life yeah, I mean That's it is it's hard Kamala. to imagine that anybody in your uh, position wouldn't feel the way that you do Andrew um, there is another father Fred Gutenberg um, whose daughter yes. Jamie was killed here's what he has to say about it he said it's going to increase the risk of gunfire and casualty in schools not decrease it the idea that a teacher with a presumably locked weapon has the ability to react to somebody who walks in with an AR-15 is comical moronic and dishonest what do you say well, you know what it is, uh, Martha, they, 
they're really not educated in what happened. You know, I really don't talk about Fred much, but these teachers, it's, it's an extensive training where they go through psychologicals, they do 144 hours, and, and they're, they're trained to higher standards than regular deputies in, in accuracy. So what's very important also is uh, when, there, when there is a shooter going on, when there is a shooting, you're going to want to know there's someone in that school that's there to defend your kid. Yeah. And what, what they leave out mostly, Martha, is it's voluntary. We that's don't want exactly teachers right. that... that they don't, we don't want the teachers that don't want to do it. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Don't, exactly. That's don't always do the reaction. It. People say, well, you know, teacher, they, they don't know anything about guns. They don't want to use a gun. It's a completely voluntary program. And if you wish when you watch the video that, that the outdoor guards had run in with their guns, then I'm not sure how you can wish that there wasn't somebody in the building who was able to do that as well. I, I mean, it is, it, it's uh, stunning, you know, to, to imagine yeah, yeah. that you wouldn't want that kind of protection. You know, maybe we get one or two teachers out of 50 that want to voluntarily go through that course. Who are we to tell them that they, they shouldn't be there to defend our kids? Yeah. And I know my daughter would have wanted one of those teachers armed that day on that third I'm floor. I'm sure she would. I'm sure she would have. Uh, there's at least 10 states that already have uh, this policy. Andrew, thank you so much uh, for being here, and um, we wish you and your family well.